when Gurudev was about to pass away, he said to his assembled monks, I obtained one finger Zen from ten of you and used it all my life, but still did not exhaust it. When he finished saying this, he entered into eternal nirvana. One finger Zen is not just about holding up one finger. What is it we're talking about? What is the one thing that he received that we all receive? What is the one thing that is never exhausted? What is the one thing that each of us knows intimately as his own skin, her own skin? What is the one thing that we received from our parents before our parents? We received from the Buddha before the Buddha. What is the one intimate thing that we can never use up? How to express that? This is not a koan about coming into the Sanzen room and sticking up a finger and saying, yeah, here we are. It's really about something, expressing something that's very, very intimate. And that, again, is our practice. It is a practice of great intimacy, great closeness, not frozen, not cold, intimate, 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 intimate. Intimate with ourself, with others, expressed in our own particular, unique, broken, imperfect way. As we practice together during this short session, these few days together, please do not let the mind, or rather, when you recognize the mind has slid into judgment and evaluation, turn away from it. Don't pay it attention. And instead, turn the attention back to this formless, shapeless presence that is our body, within our body. This formless, shapeless, boundless, beginningless presence that everyone knows. Everyone knows. Please, don't allow yourself to be distracted be lost in what is peripheral. Continually see what is it that's most intimate, more intimate than knowing and not knowing, more intimate than life and death, more intimate than right here.